Hello and welcome back to Ruse. I'm the Harbinger and before we start to create a new plant here, I want to show off the collection. We have uh, three starred all of the stuff in the ancient era and we are lacking one thing in the uh, medieval era we haven't done, done yet, which is the uh, merchant age. So we will try to do this uh, this game. So uh, we need to um, uh, we need to have a lot of wealth, and wealth must be the highest stat on the planet when we get into the middle era to unlock this. So um, we need to focus on this one, which means we should probably try to get uh, either the uh, monument or um, or uh, yeah, it's the monument age for uh, to get more wealth here. So we need to have once it is at least uh, six wealth, which should be really feasible. And we just have to unlock whatever it is in uh, the era of discovery later. So without further ado, let's go create a new plant here. We uh, want to... We want to maybe go for the pirate queen. She likes gold. Uh, she wants there to be at least... A, uh, she wants it to be gold, mystery with fish or predators. Or we could go for the goddess. She's also interested in wealth. Mm, 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 mm. I think I think we will go with we had the pirate queen last time so let's go with uh, the goddess this time <coughs> and uh, the goddess will uh, be pretty particularly easy to uh, make uh, the highest uh, highest gold uh, individual so uh, actually let's go without the ocean giant uh, this time we have uh, done them uh, so many times um, but let's take, let's take on, let's take on the swamp giant, the savannah giant, and <clears throat> and let's also take the uh, rock giant for a uh, for a Mediterranean kind of uh, thing here. We will go with uh, giant difficulty, uh, the era of discovery, and uh, the full draft uh, thing here. Well, what's the, the is here? He will have less error, cities will grow slower, and uh, if he hits a guy on floating ice, it will sink. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the real challenge, uh, and yeah, the game is balanced around giants. So let, let's just uh, do this here and uh, get into the game. So we are starting uh, with. Um, with uh, the goddess here, which uh, are we? Um, we are either doing the savannah first or or the desert first. I think. I think. I think we'll uh, do this. I think we'll do the desert as uh, we have unlocked most stuff. Uh, maybe unlocked more biotica for the desert uh, from previous runs. <coughs> We'll do the savanna as the curiosity uh, new uh, new uh, biome available to us here. Uh, uh, uh. And they will settle over there, and they need to have some wealth. Let's give them some uh, wealth stuff to worry about. For example, this sand cat can go over there, and this quartz over there. That should be enough to give them uh, level uh, 3 wealth, I think. Mm -mm -mm. And while they are doing that, let's start to create the savanna over here. Mm. And we got our new tribe. And this new tribe is <coughs> Pirate Queen or the Sage. Let's see. I I think we'll do the Pirate Queen just yes, because uh, I want to I want to make sure that we are focusing uh, focusing more wealth. So the Savannah is also animal based, and the Pirate <coughs> and the Pirate Queen wants to have uh, animals and food and gold, so that's good. Mm -hmm. You need to come with us over here. And let's see, what kind of buildings do the goddess want to build? We can either build Cat Temple, which is a really, really cool building. 
Uh, it's easier, easier for us to fix it. We just have to build two more of these cats. We could do Gem Seeker or Merchant Peer or Overseer. Uh, we, we can't do Merchant Peer because we won't have uh, access to Ocean this run. Uh, this is 120 gold, but uh, this is uh, this is uh, 12 mystery, and uh, for each mystery she will gain uh, five gold. So that's 60 gold and and uh, 24 additional food. So I think we're gonna go cat temple just because it's the most uh, versatile one that gives us access to different kind of uh, upgrades, so we can um, so we can uh, have that. And uh, yeah, these uh, these cats it just has to be on planets. They don't even have to specifically be within her within her biome. So we can even uh, build other stuff elsewhere. Now let's see, pirate settlement. They want also to have some wealth. The African wild dog gets uh, additional gold if adjacent to at least prey or critter. And uh, if they are next to another African wild dog, they will gain 100% um, extra. So, uh, sure, let's uh, build two of these over here. And uh, maybe even build another critter nearby. And let's also look for something cool to add to the savanna over here. We can either add the Zebra, Umbrella Thorn Agikala, or the Spotted Hyena. So Hyena wants to be next to minerals, uh, that's possible. Umbrella Thorn Agikala, this is science, so we don't care about science for now. And the Zebra gives a lot of food if they are adjacent to distinct adjacent herbivores, which can be done. So we can build two of these next to each other, and they could, uh, and they could be cool. Let's see, goosey. I don't care about that. The gazelle is a herbivore for, um, uh, for the here. Yeah, let's. Um, so we do care about wealth for this run, so let's go for this spotted hyena because it gives not a lot of wealth, and we will get access to. Uh, Wealth-based uh, birds. <laughs> it's ugly. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, mm -mm -mm -mm. two of these uh, plus a hundred percent if they need that. And if we uh, if we give them a critter to chase, they will be even better. So that's a scavenger. This is a critter. Yeah, let's give them access to that critter over there. And uh, we also need to build a place for the last tribe. Um, let's expand the uh, the desert a little bit first, because uh, I think I think uh, the uh, the goddess would like to want to have a lot of space for herself, and we can uh, build the remaining uh, remaining uh, city over here, and that should be. That should be either the inventor or the miner. Both of them like science. Uh, the miner is more interested in science for mineral than from plants. But in rainforest, I think it's better to do plants. So I'm gonna do the inventor, and they can um, settle over here once uh, we have turned that into the rainforest. I don't think we are going to go towards having more. Um, having more uh, than uh, three cities on this planet, so this will be uh, nice. Camp Ancient Grove. Uh, let's give you, let's give you this, this stone there, and let's also give you a science plant, and this should be a nice start over here for you. Get some additional biodiversity from the Ramoon tree, and Stone gets uh, additional damage to biodiversity and science when it's next to this tree, so that should be good. Then we just have to place the remaining cats. Um, how are you doing, desert? Do you have any additional cats for us? You do have the ostrich. The ostrich is really nice to have uh, in open uh, open fields. There is no cats for us here, so we have to take what we can get. Limestone is access to a lot of science easily. 
Lattice is uh, even better. They want to be next to the existing gems and get access to more more gold based gems. Let's take these guys. As we are uh, planning to go towards a wealth a wealth mid and end game. Yeah. Now we just need to uh, uh, finish these uh, special buildings we have planned for um, our guys. Build some more cats around here. So the cat temple can go. And doo -doo. that's two more cats. So the cat temple is at uh, max value. That should make the uh, goddess have enough prosperity to win its mission. Yes, barely, but it gets there. Gives us another draft. Okay, let's look at the pirate village. The uh, pirate village, they want to have 8 wealth and 5 pop. We can't do ocean shrine because we don't have access to oceans here. Mercenary then gives uh, additional gold if there are enough predators. And this one is for fish, so both of these are undoable. So we are doing this one. And I think we already have two predators, so that's uh, already pretty good. We just need a third predator over here. Let's give them. Uh, let's give them the hyena. Uh, let's give them a hyena over here. Uh, over here. Oh, we have, don't have enough. Okay, first. First, we need to build something for them. For example. For example, uh, mm, They also need food. Let's give them this uh, genie fowl. And after that, we can build the hyena, and that will be three three predators, hopefully within borders. Mm -mm. Oh, we already had the genie fowl here. We did. Okay, let's... Uh, re let's replace that with uh, the white pack vulture. Uh, it needs to also be next to an element. We can place that over there. And uh, the spotted hyena also wants to be next to elements. Let's uh, actually place this here. Let's see how is this one doing now. Now they really want to expand. They just have to respect that they also have these uh, empty vehicles within here. But they don't don't have to work this uh, this uh, area anyway. Amethyst wants to be next to animals also, so this is fine for the last. Last thing in this era. Continue. Okay. So uh, we have already three starred all of the available uh, eras in first stage. So um, let's just go with uh, the monument as uh, that gives more gold, which is uh, what we want for the uh, era in the um, in the medieval age we're working towards. So this uh, monument here is gonna be uh, pretty cool. Oh yeah! I just remembered. In the monument, you really want uh, you, really, you, you want more tribes, because um, for every additional tribe that's uh, worse off than uh, this tribe, we get uh, we get more gold. I forgot about that, so maybe we do want to have uh, uh, a fourth and fifth tribe on uh, on this uh, this map here. That's okay. How are you doing? You are. You are happy with the amount of wealth, you just need a little bit more food. Can we get you enough food from here? We really can't. Mm -mm, I think we need to draft something if we want to get uh, enough food from the savannah. Uh, these are two stars, we can't use those. Impala. Gazelle. If there's at least two plants in Biome, you get additional uh, 20 food. That's uh, that's okay. Uh, also, the Amber Wrath gives a lot of food, but not yet. Yeah, let's uh, take this guy so we can get access to the Gazelle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we need to make sure the Spotted Hyena gets another, another mineral nearby. But firstly, we need to make sure that we are giving them uh, as much food as we can. We need two more plants. So these okras can be placed next to gems. Oh, I was doing... Yeah, 
One there. <laughs> and we still need one more, right? Yeah. <coughs> they don't have to be food based, they can be anything. For example, these guys get science if they are adjacent to animals. But yeah, let's just do the another one of these food based plants because they need specifically, specifically food. <coughs> so this should be decently good. A little bit of food from itself and then uh, additional food from uh, additional food from the gazelle. It's not not quite enough to take you up to five. Maybe if we can spend a micro here later, it's gonna be good. But yeah, we also need to uh, worry about worry about this. I think is it the element part that's uh, lacking here? Uh, yeah, she's also lacking uh, also lacking uh, in wealth. She has one element. Let's also just give her another. This is not um, this is not a uh, element, but it's okay to give it. Um, let's take it here to uh, encourage her to expand this way. <coughs> Then we can place the lattice. Ah, uh, it needs distinct gems. I'm so bad at this game, apparently. Uh, mm -mm. Quartz is there. It needs, uh, for example, uh, the the, um, the uh, to pass and to Jasper. Then that guy is really good. Um, which still needs another element. I think there is. Uh, we, uh, ooh, the quartz is an element, and the redstone is an element. That's why we. That's why we wanted that one. Mm, yeah, we can probably get access to more later. But just place this here, and we are happy about this part. Let's look at the. Um, at the building available for the inventor here. They want either toolsmith, undergrowth, or trees. So it's either distinct trees or specific, um, yeah, distinct undergrowth or whatever trees. We already have one tree, so I think a woodcutter is gonna be the correct choice here. And uh, they also want unique biotica within borders. I can't really do that for you at the current, sir. Let's come back to you after we have given the pirate what she wants. Let's just uh, buy a micro charge here. And who are we going to give that to? Uh, you upgrade gold, you, up you upgrade total yield for predators, you upgrade science. So none of you have guaranteed food upgrades. Let's just uh, spend it for uh, spend it for for the uh, savanna giant and see what we get here. Uh, additional food, but by percentage. Additional uh, biotica, gold, and total yield for each distinct predator. We could spend it on the gazelle. It's a really <laughs> it's a really bad uh, spend there. I think we rather just spend this 25% uh, uh, Agrarus uh, Visphorus, which will give us, uh, I think, seven or eight additional food, which, which would be enough. So um, then we can keep the 25% uh, 20% uh, for each predator for a really good one. Just to finish that task over there. Yeah, we maxed that. Um, mm -mm. We can uh, get 30 more gold here if we buy another tribe. Which we can uh, certainly fit over here. So uh, let's do that. Her um, her tribe is the one we want to be the best anyway. Let's see. Merchant is uh, gold focused. Huntress is food and gold focused. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's uh, do the merchant. Fit him. It's too close to the other guys. Okay, we can fit them over here, apparently. 
<laughs> this is too close, but this that is closer is uh, uh, further enough away. It has to be actual city towns, uh, and not uh, and not uh, border closement. Okay, so uh, that's made the pyramids uh, 30 better. Okay, but yeah, we still need to make sure the goddess has uh, 40 prosperity before we can uh, finish this era. We don't really have that much time for it, so uh, maybe we should uh, prioritize prioritize looking here. So we need to draft something for the desert then. Mm, both of these are two stars, we can't play with those yet. Um, uh, the Bearded Dragon gets bonuses if there are micro in adjacent Biotica, we can do that. The Sunstone can't be played yet, Carnelian. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like the Ostrich, uh, it's just not that good. I mean, we, we could make it good. Mm -mm. Okay, so this guy don't want to be there. I I, I think this <coughs> I think this guy is an anti synergy because we we want to have the cats around. Okay, let's just do the let's just do the ostrich here. I think we also get access to the sangros and the mud crack. Arr, this one ain't that good. I think we just have to make uh, make do with what we got here. Um, can we? We can't buy an expansion shard. We can't. We can buy. We can buy a terraforming shard here. That's gonna be great. Let's um, use that to create more more uh, barren adjacency spaces. I think that's gonna be key. So we um, we have access to the sanctuary. <coughs> Number of micros are doubled, and then non emblem micros uh, is placed twice. Or we could place the creek, which means that plants on both sides get get fifty percent additional yields and give uh, additional uh, biodiversity. Or we could create mountains, which give additional place placement stuff. Let's see. We do it over here. We have more uh, stuff for the um, for the ostrich to uh, be next to. I think this is going to be the fine thing here. Okay, so here the ostrich will have one, two, three empty adjacencies. Oh, the sand cats are also adjacent. Uh, are also barren. Okay. So this one is uh, pretty pretty good here, and uh, it's within the uh, goddess border, so it's fifty percent additional yield. <coughs> uh, actually, uh, another ostrich over here wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, um, how many different predators do we have in the? Uh, we have uh, these sand cats. And uh, we don't really have any other predators here. We can place more predators, which means that um, this bonus will be uh, improved. But anyway, it is it is the ostrich we want to do that improvement on. Oh, um, mm, 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 mm. actually, um, do uh, so here is four adjacencies, but here is uh, it possible to have six. So if we if we shuffle around, if we shuffle around the sand cat and the ostrich here, uh, we will have a better ostrich. Which means that the bonus will be, will be better when we apply it here. Okay, that was a nice catch. <laughs> and uh, then we also need more predators, if at all possible. We don't have access to more predators here, so uh, we can't improve this bonus by more than this in the current uh, era we are in. We have two more placements to make um, make the goddess get 
for more prosperity. That should be very doable. <clears throat> we also have uh, got an emblem from her. That's on this guy. Plus 10% yield for each gem within borders. I uh, can only upgrade the uh, one star biotic. Ah, maybe we should have done that thing on the um, on the ostrich. Uh, we could do it on the lattice. Yeah, we can do it on the lattice. That should be good. That's additional 40 from there. That should be one or two, uh, one or two prosperity. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And yeah, when we get this, we also unlock another draft. Uh, there are there are not critters in this biome yet, which means that uh, if we add one critter, all of these uh, sand cats will become improved. So uh, why not consider uh, taking this uh, sand grows here on this animal booster? And that should be forty. <coughs> Which is a uh, three star monument age, which means that this pyramid here would get um, will get a buff. And uh, yeah, let's look at. Um, mm, I think we shouldn't upgrade the merchant city this turn because I think if we unlock, I think if we unlock the building next era, we can still get a bonus, but we can't if we unlock it this turn. Uh, how are we doing for the inventor village? Did you get all the things you needed? You need more trees. Do we expand this era to give him two more trees? I think we do. They won't be ex they won't they won't be um, distinct trees, but they will be uh, enough trees. So we won't get um, the unique uh, biotic kind of thing, but um, we'll at least get two of them so we can. Uh, Maximize the woodcutter cutter uh, value here. I, th I think spending uh, six wealth to make sure we get sixty additional uh, science from the woodcutter is a good uh, good investment here. And yeah, let's uh, finish this era. <clears throat> we did the pyramids. The people have completed the pyramids. Pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. Sand cat, tree stump. And we got a lot of gold. Uh, ooh, we gain uh, 10 additional eons for this. We gain an additional draft charge and different additional micro charge. Nine additional uh, diversity prosperity. Additional upgrade points. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, so this is the last. This is the last um, a second era thing we haven't done yet. So um, yeah, we will have to have uh, three cities with uh, eight wealth, and three cities with fifteen wealth, and sixty wealth on the planet. Should be pretty uh, easy. The goddess will host the world market, benefiting from all trade routes, trade routes around the world. And for a two star, we'll get two additional crevices and uh, 15 eon limit. Okay. And we are already starting with, with more trade. Okay, let, let's us uh, look at this uh, world market thing. So the empress gains 10 of each resource for every active trade route on the planet okay that's uh that's cool and uh what was the bonus uh this town gained i don't know mm -mm -mm. choose inspiration fur clothiers mason or statue so i know there is already three uh, fur biotica within border so this one is already done and it's also the best one so that's the one we're going to take. This is 
gonna be a huge blob of money. Boom. Oof. 240 more. Skull. While that is happening, uh, we need to uh, start upgrading uh, the uh, merchant settlement. Or we could look at what uh, the pirate town wants to do first. You want to fish, that's not possible. Distinct animals, that is possible. So, um, and you want both uh, wealth and food, so let's go for the tavern here. And we need to <coughs> help the uh, inventor and the merchant. Inventor is here, you need uh, a little bit more science and two more unique bioticas. Let's um, take some upgrades for the rainforest and for example the gumball limbo tree, which is one of the best uh, one of the best uh, science things for um, for the rainforest. So let's take this. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this has a science booster. So we can uh, replace the um, Ramon 3 over here with that, and uh, that's a fourth. And I guess uh, getting an additional biodiversity uh, for the parakeet, since it's in, in, in next to trees, is uh, okay. So let's put that there, and uh, that should be enough for the uh, for the scientist. He's already already at 10 tech. But uh, the additional two biodiversity will give uh, two triggers of bio booster here, so it's just really good. And now he wants to build something more. 300 science, if there are six trees, is uh, really good. Weaponsmith, I don't think that's gonna be good for us, we are focusing trees. And uh, 200 science, if there are six distinct biotica with base science yield, I just think having six random trees is better than that, so. Let's unlock, uh, further unlock the wood workshop. And uh, yeah, continue to give them uh, more kinds of trees here. Uh, 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 draft some more here. Bananas are okay. Hemp. Hemp gives um, uh, a lot of science. So that one is gonna be good. Uh, it's only one more, one more tree. Well, if we take the bananas, we can get... Um... No, the taro is not a tree, so it's only the bananas uh, that counts for a tree there. So yeah, let's take the hemp, I guess. And... Uh... <clears throat> and... Uh... Let's see, we need to upgrade a patch to use this place. So let's upgrade over here. We have a lot of these upgrades and patches, so we don't, and we can expand the world, so we don't really, we don't really need to make the most out of uh, um, different kinds of tiles. We do need to place this here. It needs, to, it wants to be adjacent to animals, so that's cool. It wants to be next to. Uh, it doesn't have to be like distinct animals, but uh, it certainly can't uh, can't be bad. Let's see. I think we want we want to spend this place for a tree or something. So. Oh yeah, or the spider monkey. The spider monkey also gives um, also gives uh, science. So let's do that. And then we we'll just do. For example, the iguana or guinea pig. Let's do the iguana. That's additional micro slots. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this hemp thing is really, really good. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Now we have enough different kind of stuff. We just also need to give it some more trees. We still have a lot of time. Let's give them uh, some more Ramoon trees. Ramoon trees give additional biodiversity, which is uh, good, even though we already have enough of them. And two more trees. Ah, uh, oh, we can't. We can't fit more trees. Uh, we have to. We have to expand here with mountains. But that is fine. 
That also means we can uh, give more animals next to hemp if needed. But yeah, inventory town is uh, done now. Dun, dun, dun. Come over here, make the mountains, and we will um, we will make some more ramoon trees. Just because uh, having uh, this at level uh, this at level two is uh, is good, and I will try 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 to remember that we have uh, access to another another level two animal over here if uh, if we need it later. Yes. Okay. Merchant settlement. You should have gotten a lot of a lot of love uh, ages ago. Let's see, can we build something that gives you decent decent gold here? You want to be adjacent to critters. Uh, 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 uh. You are a critter. Okay. Let's give you that and also give you a tree. This wasn't enough for you. Mm -mm -mm. Did we have uh, flat gold? We have uh, flat gold available here. Um, it spends a barren uh, barren tag, and it can only be placed in the desert. So yeah, we can't use it uh, here. We can use it uh, to make this ostrich better, right? We can make this redstone barren. Let's just go ahead and do that. And I guess we find a mineral, something here, a gem. Uh, 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 uh. Let's make this amethyst next to an animal. That should be enough for the merchant. I think the merchant is going to be our third, um, our third uh, eight to wealth as it here. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, either four gems within borders or distinct uh, gold biotica. I think we're going, we're going to go for distinct gold biotica here. We already have two of them. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, and then we need uh, two more. For example... For example, build another to pass over here. And another gold animal over here. So this is next to critters, so this pit viper would also be better. Need to also pay attention to that we don't have an uh, infinite amount of uh, eons left. And after this, we also need 15 uh, wealth in uh, in uh, three cities. Okay, we have uh, we have two of them already: the pirate town and the goddess town. We also need the merchant town to get on board there. Mm -mm -mm. This can only be placed in the bio in the uh, in the rainforest, so let's just do, do that. Let's see. You will give additional gold if you're not adjacent to a plant. Yeah. Um let's see, I think it's about time we expand the planet a little bit. The merchant has it very cramped over here. So uh, we are going to do expanse. So uh, if uh, a crest will merge between, um, uh, in between and add four new patches to the left of it, two patch if used within city borders. So uh, even though we have um, almost uh, no places where we can use this, 
uh, to gain four, we can still do it between borders like here. So if we do it here, we can still get uh, four additional patches. So uh, that's uh, a neat trick if you uh, didn't already know that. Now, uh, now we do need to find a way to gain a lot more gold on the uh, on the merchant. One way to do that would be um, to build another lattice, which means we need to find out uh, how uh, how uh, many things we can add here. Maybe we can also look at Rafter. We have uh, it is the this is is this is the savanna or the desert? This is the desert. We have more drafts. Let's spend all of the drafts. It's time for something. Ooh, these are three stars. <laughs> Don't look at the three stars. We need two stars. Uh, the only non-three star thing I apex here is the limestone, which is a science-based one. So let's re-roll. And uh, yeah, gold. Gold is cool. <sighs> Gives additional ten for each. Mm -mm, it's eight biotica though, which is hard to get for us. We will need to replace some other stuff, I think. Uh, we could do the Gaila monster. No, we had, there are so many animals in this biome. Uh, 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 salt for each different kind of baron in this um, in this biome. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can surely do that. Okay. Then we need to find out how we can fit that. We got some additional stuff, stuff too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think we got anything new here. We did get uh, the olive tree. And we... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's um, upgrade. Let's, up mm, let's place something here first and then upgrade it away. You want to be based next to something that has a base uh, gold. So for example, this guy. Build that. Then we upgrade it away. This needs to, this wants to be an animal. We don't have a two-star animal for the desert, but that's okay. We also want to uh, just build this, and it gains a lot based on how many types of baron there are. We need more, um, but first we need more biotica. Is there? Mm -mm -mm. Do we have a gerbil? Um, mm, mm, mm. It does not look like we already have a gerbil, so uh, no gerobo, so let's add that. And I guess we can add another fan palm. And then we do the salt. We also need to pay attention to the amount of uh, eon we have left here. After we get that, we need 60 on the planet. Uh, 55 wealth, that's not... Mm, that's not really that much. <laughs> this can only be used on one star or lower biotica. <laughs> Would it have been better to do a... Uh, to do a lattice here instead. Maybe it would be. Yeah, we should do a lattice instead. So we need to replace it with something else so we can gain back to Biotica. And then we're going to put it into a lattice. And then we need to build two more gems next to it. We have a topaz over there. We don't have mudcrack, but mudcrack into gem. Let's just build another quartz. Just to make sure. No, it's distinct gems. It's distinct gems. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. And that one we can upgrade with uh, the merchant. Gets 60% additional stuff. 
and uh, that is the merchant age <laughs> completed. <sighs> nice. Then we can start continue working on. Let's see. Make sure everybody has their uh, buildings at the best they can be. Uh, yeah, if we can get some more trade routes happening, that would be great. Uh, you need 10 more for a trade route, 4 more for a trade route, 9 more for a trade route, 8 more for a trade route. Let's see. Um, so it, it's improving in Goddess City, that's the furthest one there. Mm -mm -mm. Four more wealth, that's a lot of additional uh, of those stuffs. What are these guys doing? We can't upgrade those anymore. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we are just going to be happy about whatever we can do here. Work towards uh, the ancient metropolis here. Uh, we need something more with here, for example, the desert soul. No, we don't have enough uh, biodiversity for that. Uh, adding uh, mud cracks would make future salts better. And for example, I also think we don't have the sagebrush already, so um, yeah, now putting a salt here would be really good for the future. Okay. Let's continue to the next era and see what we're getting here. So this is a 210 merchant age. That's okay. We gain uh, two more crevices, 15 additional Eon limit, one more draft charge, one more micro charge. And this is what we get for having uh, high biodiversity in uh, biomes. And 18 additional prosperity points. Okay, so now we are in the third era. And uh, here are a lot of different th things we can do. Calmera is always uh, available. We need to end it with 500, um, 500 uh, prosperity to get uh, three stars. That should be pretty easy with the um, with the three star uh, uh, third era buildings. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a boring one. Um, so the age of horror. Uh, so, uh, the cultists will look for offerings to please the aberrant boys and gain gold and something more. Sacrificial altar. This altar doesn't do much yet, but once the dark patron has been awakened, it will surely reward the goddess. So, we need to make the goddess have a lot of money. <laughs> and we need to have uh, the blood resource and 120 gold on the planet and uh, 500 prosperity on the planet. I think this one could be pretty decent for us. This is uh, science and pop based, so we aren't uh, we aren't uh, suited to do that. And this one is uh, food, and um, this is food and gold based. So yeah, we're gonna make the goddess have 250, 250 prosperity. I mean, it is it is uh, it is a profit based one, and it does kind of fit the goddess uh, plan in that. Uh, she wants to have a lot of money, but uh, yeah, we don't really produce that much food. So yeah, I, I, I think we're going to go for the Age of Horror here and uh, awaken the horror with offerings of wealth. So uh, yeah, let's try this one. And uh, these uh, third era eras are kind of uh, different. So uh, yeah, something sinister is brewing. So these are these here. They are legacy now, which means that we don't really need to have the cats uh, here anymore. But um, they still help a little bit. So, shoes and inspiration, country crop. For each gold in animal with borders with highest gold, gain an extra gold. That's okay. Uh, same thing for here, but for gems and. Uh, the luxury shop gains additional uh, 1. Uh, 0 0.5 gold for each gold in animal with the borders. So it's basically this one, but for every animal, but half as effective. Before we decide, I think we should look at what's available for uh, for free stars drafts in uh, in the desert, which means that we should also do 
other upgrades, uh, for example, in the rainforest. So what do you have for us? Medicine or the best tree or distinct energy biotica? Oh, oh cool, yeah. So it's um, it's uh, 25, 10, 10, 25 and uh, for every mineral and for each distinct energy biotica we gain additional 100%. Okay, look for distinct energy. Ooh, coffee is a dark offering. <laughs> okay, tapir is also a dark offering. This is uh, science in distinct biotica in the border. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this one is really good. And it gets a, a really high bonus if it's unique. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All the better on the planet gain uh, woo, 100 more food and 100 uh, more science if they are unique in their, bio in their biome. That's cool. I'm not going to focus too much on... Um, on uh, this period, but I think uh, I think um, having uh, coffee is uh, a nice thing to add there, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> I think it's gonna be a high one. So let's do this and uh, try to fit uh, coffee somewhere around here. Um, I did forgot to check was the coffee medicinal. The coffee is medicinal, so this means that it will be really, really good together with that building. So let's put that somewhere. For example, we could upgrade this area over here and put it here. Come over here and give us some coffee. We already have the eight uh, biotica we need for it, so that's cool. Uh, put it here. So this is 260 science and climbing. Yeah, which means that uh, this one gets uh, 400 science. Yeah, nice. They are very excited. Yeah. Um, not really, uh, not really uh, crushing it for uh, for the tech they need though. It's uh, it's late game. We need to uh, crank these numbers up. We already have the hemp here. Let's see. Let's put also down a shinosha tree over here. Gives a lot of additional biodiversity. Gets lots of additional science. Yeah. But uh, let's not focus too much on this guy for now. Mm, Merchant Town, what do you want for stuff? Distinct gems, amount of minerals. Uh, 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 how many distinct gems do you already have? You have uh, one, two, three, four. You already have five, so uh, you can already take the best one. Right. That was only four different? One, two, three, four. Huh. That's weird. Anyway. Uh, uh, uh. Jasper. That's one of the ones you don't have. Sure. That's done. Okay. Now, uh, we do need to make sure the goddess has all the things she wants. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, but now we have uh, now we have access to the uh, traditional drafts of um, of Gothic over here. We uh, either animals or gems with the highest uh, highest gold yield in the desert. So we could do the diamond. That should be good. Uh, yeah, let let's build some diamonds. 
that fits the uh, that fits the wants and the needs of the goddess. Uh, mm, highest gem yield. So be it. Then we just need to find somewhere to put it. And uh, see, it needs uh, eight biodiversity. And this wants to be nice next to a set of gems and predators. Okay, let's uh, upgrade away this lattice so we can get back some of um, the biodiversity we spent on it. And we are... Then having the eight, we need to place a diamond, so... Uh... Oh, and we even get a mineral boosting slot. Ooh. Yeah, baby, 3,000 gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are definitely awaking Cthulhu at, th at this rate. Okay, let's just uh, watch it happen here. From the deep, an entity has awoken. Okay, so now we need to uh, now we need to make uh, make this blood resource happen on the planet. And uh, as far as I know, uh, what triggers the blood changes every time. So uh, let's see uh, what the sacrificial altar altar says. So sacrificial altar gives um, plus one blood and five gold for each food in the dark offering biotica within borders with the highest amount of food. So this basically means we need to have some kind of biotica with the dark offering. Um, Biotikum tag that ha and that has to have at least 200, 200 food on the tile. So, yeah, neither of these are suitable for that. And uh, yeah, we don't we don't have anything within um, within the uh, desert that currently can give food and is dark offering. But uh, that is fine, we can uh, try to draft some more. So uh, we just need to get a lot of more drafts for uh, this biome first. Oh, it's gonna, be, uh, it's gonna be a challenge to make this happen actually. Because we need to, um, we need to, we need to get these guys up to four first before we can draft more at the desert. Yeah. But this uh, this diamond though, oof, that is so good, so so good. This one is just rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, um, we need uh, more draft stuff. Let's go to the merchant and uh, help him out. Uh, yeah, you have your stuff here, just don't change the uh, gems in here and give you three more wealth. We can do that. We can give you, for example, the... Um, we can try to do the, uh, the desert salt instead of this uh, Jeroba. Uh, we don't have enough biotica to do that. We could do... Could do uh, turquoise. We need that to be next to uh, next to a predator. This is a predator. We can upgrade away these guys. But we can't uh, we can't place that there because it's not uh, it's not desert. Mm -mm. We don't need science. We don't need science. We need gold. Hmm. This is a. This is not a gem. Hmm. Yeah. 
yeah, we just need to uh, start uh, doing things here. We have we have some micro we can spend. We need to upgrade. This one is already upgraded. What we can do is um, upgrade away this place uh, and replace it with a new lattice. That should be a really easy way to gain um, to gain uh, more uh, more gold here. And she she got some of the um, some of the wealth we needed. Let's see. Okay, uh, this one wants to have a food thing. We can do that. But firstly, let's replace replace down this lattice. And that should that should help out this guy enough. Yeah. Uh, uh Let's uh, look in the savanna. Can we gain more stuff here that can gain food into the desert? You are a three-star food into the desert. And you're also a dark offering, which is great. So can we make this guy into a 200 food? That would need... That would need... Uh, it's base 70, so we would need like a lot a lot of different sort or or we could do the secretary bird secretary bird is uh, can be uh, just gets additional food for each other bird on the planet yeah this one is really easy to make um, to make into uh, a 200 uh, food thing okay okay uh, we can even place it here it's already a nice space for it mm, no because it's a savanna thing yeah Oh no, whatever do we do? We just need to make this into the savannah. Can you do this? Yeah, okay. So, secretary bird. We need to upgrade here first. And uh, we need uh, one more biodiversity before we can do that. For example, we could uh, place this three-star cat. That's cool. And then we place the secretary bird here at the booster. This is a 450 dark offering because we have so many birds. And uh, yeah, them just need to have uh, a lot of prosperity on the planet. Okay. And uh, yeah, this uh, <laughs> this here is just continuously uh, continuously counting. Oh yeah, this is because of the dark offering, uh, the dark offering uh, bonus of uh, 2,250. Yeah, maybe the goddess is gonna make that happen herself. Anyway, this guy is just gonna grow and grow and grow. As long as we build more birds. Right? It's not it's not distinct birds, it's just birds. So building uh, uh, for example this guy here would be better. Or is this a tree? This is on the undergrowth. Are you uh Let's just see what happens here if we place this bird here. This goes from 450 to. Yeah, gains a lot. Which means that this city again also gains a lot. Yeah, it gains 500 or something. Ridiculous. Yeah. The, uh, the goddess certainly has. Uh, has roast the. Um, the ire of the, uh, of the Cthulhu monster here. Let her just go here. We're gonna pass a hundred welfare, it's gonna be cool. 99. And yeah, as the cities grow, uh, the challenge to increase the cities are getting larger and larger. But yeah, we have a lot of trade routes there. They just, um, they, they, they doesn't exist enough, doesn't exist enough stuff for them, pretty important stuff to uh, Need to give other stuff more uh, more inventions if they want to trade more. Hmm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go to uh, let's go to the scientist. 
help him with um, with uh, upgrading his stuff. He wants to have uh, more science on this uh, coffee uh, coffee thing, and um, that gets extra science for each science in distinct biotica within uh, within the realm. So just uh, building more science stuff that's not already here is good. Uh, uh, um, do we have the Shinua tree? Um, let's see. Yeah, we do have the Chinua tree all here already. Uh, 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 we also need some more distinct biotica for this task here. Mm, 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 mm. We could build the mica. Do we already have the mica? I don't think it looks like that's the case. Uh, so we could uh, we could replace this papaya tree, for example. Mm, oh yeah, we do need to we do need to have an upgraded up upgraded places. Let's go here, upgrade away these places, replace the gumbo limber tree, as it is a really good tree. Put that there, yes please. Tree star science bonus. Yes. And we are placing the uh, mica over there. Did we already have one of these? Or didn't we... we, did we ah, this other uh, papaya tree was uh, outside their borders. Yeah, okay. So I should have replaced one of these from Moon Trees instead. In that case, we can replace uh, one of these trees with the papaya. And that should work. Dun, dun, dun. Have 400 prosperity on a single planet. Okay, we are then upgrading. Let's see. We need uh, the pirate town and the merchant town. They're both in the... Um, Mm, the merchant is in the desert, the uh, pirate is in the savanna. You want... You don't have a building for us. Okay. Uh, let's get something cool for the savanna then. For example, the rhino. Or we could... You need more wealth than pop, but you need both. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I think the Rhino is the correct thing here, because it gives both. And uh, let's build build the Rhino over here. Upgrade away those two. And uh, put down a Rhino here, for example. And yeah, this one wants to. Yeah, it needs plants and herbivores to be in the biome, and it also needs to be next to two plants. That's easy. Let's just uh, see. Uh, we can. Mm -mm, there aren't really any good food plants in the rainforest, but there are good food uh, stuff here. For example, this uh, marula nut and this uh, amaranth. Is there? Mm -mm -mm. There are in the top row. There are foods, so there's not 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 enough biodiversity for that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do. Let's do this plant here. Mm -hmm. To increase these uh, rhinos. And yeah, we don't really need th these hyenas. Let's also replace that with um, that with the plant. For example, uh, this elephant grass. I don't think this removing this is gonna be bad. But apparently it was. Okay, there the gold came back. 
Yeah, uh, while she's growing, let's go back to the merchant. You need one more gold from something. For example, we can build something that gives you gold over here. Let's not care too much about what that is. For example, do that thing. That's done. Get another draft. Get the last draft we need in the rainforest. And if we can get something in the rainforest that gives gold that we can place over here, that would be nice. <sighs> None of these give wealth, so that's that. <laughs> we could do. Mm -mm -mm. It's basically food, food, or food. I think Tapir is going to be the best one. Or we can look at uh, these uh, things in the cohorts. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't think uh, any of these are particularly interesting. So let's just take, for example, uh, let's take. Let's take the tapir just because it um, doesn't worry about uh, adjacency. And yeah, you need uh, you need to be adjacent to at least two plants. You are that. Then it is. Uh, mm -mm. And then we can't really make you be worth more gold without doing other stuff. But we can give you we can give you micro, or we can uh, see if there aren't. There aren't uh, any more drafts to yeah because now we can uh, now we can get more drafts from anything, so let's go here, buy another draft, and upgrade. Let's see, we are doing the. Um, you need to get additional stuff from the savanna, and we want gold. Gold, gold, gold. We can't. We don't have any mo anything mo more left in our draw pool, so this is what we can choose from. I guess... I guess this Titan Graveyard thing is... is, uh, is um, mystery, which is a source of... a source of gold for... Um, for uh, the pirate town. Yes. Okay. So that's at least some of that, so we can probably do it with this here. Let's just spend... Do we care about... Do we care about this uh, mineral booster? Spend 5 eons to just get uh, 20 additional... Uh, 20 additional um, gold? I don't think so. Um, African Wild Dog, African Wild Dog. We don't need both of those. Let's just upgrade those away. And place this Titan graveyard somewhere here. And it wants to be. It needs distinct scavengers. And scavengers. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be uh, easy. So we are removing two scavengers here, but ah oh, yes, bonus mineral slot. Uh, okay, we just add some scavengers. I think that was the only. Um, let's see. You are a scavenger. I think we already have you, right? You are the servial. You look like a cute little cat. You are here. Yes. Yeah, I, th I think it's the African wild dog is the best uh, thing. We could put that over here, and uh, we can have a, uh, another one next to it here. Yeah, that's seven. Okay, then we can build this guy on a three-star booster slot, and yeah, that's now worth fifty mist. And uh, tons of science, so uh, yeah, 
that's uh, gonna be worth a lot from here. And we are soon uh, reaching uh, 500 prosperity here. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too much of a, too much of a worry for us. But yeah, we are getting uh, 25, 25 gold here. And they want to build another building. Ocean biomes, not gonna happen. Uh, plant and fish, <laughs> not gonna happen. Uh, extra gold and animal with the highest gold within border, sure. We don't have uh, we don't have that many good uh, good gold animals available in the savanna for now, so it's a bit uh, sad that we can't gain uh, more out of that. But that's just the way it is. Yeah, uh, we've done enough for uh, for her now. I think let's go help uh, help the merchant with the city of gold. He wants gold from animals, ocean that's gonna happen, and uh, the gem with the highest uh, highest gold. Um, can we we can. I don't think we can... Uh, wait, what? We can have two diamonds here? We just have to have a ridiculous amount of, bi of uh, biodiversity first. I guess this lattice is also uh, also a gem. Yeah, let's just give him uh, give him this, the ringsmith. Actually, if we... Mm -mm -mm. This wants to be next to a gem and a predator. We can do that. Replace that. Mm, is it... Uh, this is 105 though. Uh, actually, let's put it over here instead. And we can um, replace that with the predator. Mm -mm. Yeah, there has to be a critter in this biome. Replace that. Uh, replace that to pass. <laughs> and if we uh, if we remove this plant, which we can easily do, we are replacing that to pass. We can also replace this fan palm with a to pass. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is 200 because it has the lattice from uh, earlier. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. We could place a micro there. I was thinking about. Oh, we did the uh, uh, three star the uh, era of hours. I was thinking about uh, spending uh, this here so we can uh, get additional, um, additional um, wealth if it's not next to a plant. But why don't we just much rather spend that on uh, diamonds? Yeah, let's uh, spend that on uh, this instead. 50% extra if it's not, not addition to plants. These are not plants. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really good place to spend it. 500 extra gold. Which gives uh, even more gold to this guy. So that's gonna be two more money bags. Boom, boom. And almost uh, 900 more gold. Awesome. Okay, what more do we have? We have a worm and a mushroom and a poison dart frog, which needs to go in the rainforest. Sure. Take this uh, to the gumball limbo tree. Now, um, mm, mm, mm. we were talking about maybe making, uh, maybe making uh, this guy a diamond as well. But I, I don't think I, don't, I just don't think we can get enough biodiversity to make uh, to make that actually happen. I just don't think it's possible. So uh, what we could do is. Uh, mm, we could build a sanctuary, and which makes that these guys are better. Mm. Oh, I should have made a sanctuary next to uh, next to the diamonds before we did that. Oof, that's a big oof. We should have done that. Ah well, it's not that. Uh, it's not that bad. We can also expand the planet here. We can uh, make um, 
make a lot of room for more stuff. We did get these expansion charges because we uh, we were really good in the uh, in the last era. So it it shouldn't be a problem to get these last last nine uh, last nine wealth there. It's just that we don't have uh, we don't we don't don't have that much unlocked for the savanna. Oh, this is the desert. I thought you were in the savanna. Oops. Yeah, let's uh, start by building sandstone, for example. We are going to be needing to be upgrading over here. Let's see, sandstone. This one needs to be uh, a set of a plant and animal. So if we can place an animal over here. Mm, let's uh, buy another draft charge. We have a lot of wealth to go around. Can we find something cool here? For example, a falcon. It gets more gold based on each uh, food uh, science and gold on in animals within biome, and uh, it doesn't like there to be um, doesn't like there to be plants here. I don't think we have that many good plants in uh, in this biome, so sure. Let's um, let's draft the falcon here, and uh, ooh, and the jackal. Mm, let's also upgrade. The, mm, I'm trying to click this thing here. We are then building a jackal over here, so we can have a plenty of uh, barren, um, barren spots next to it. And then we are building a falcon over here. And yeah, so uh, we have uh, at least three plants, which is 200 wealth on a single planet. Woohoo! Um, mm -mm -mm. We have. Where are all of, the, all, of the, all of those plants? This is one plant. I only see one plant here. I will. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, but uh, he wants the other animals to also be good, so uh, yeah, we can make other animals good. That is a decent plan to make uh, make the bird merchant to earn more gold. Mm -mm, the tortoise. Tortoise wants also to have stuff uh, to be barren next to it. Let's just place. Uh, tortoise also needs to have more stars do we have uh, more of these we can do we can uh, mm -mm -mm. upgrade with the goddess or with the pirate queen uh, mm -mm -mm. do we have anything here that gives mystery mm -mm, I don't think so We can uh, try to draft something more. We have access to unrestricted drafts. We just need to buy them first. Desert. Good animals. Okay. Um, Calamons are one to it. Ibex. Adjacent minerals gets additional food. Nah. Gypsum. That, that Diraprosium. Uh, gets uh, science and mist for each element in this biome. Yeah, that's at least gonna give a lot of prosperity. All metals on the planet gain an additional fifty percent. Costs eight though. Has two micro slots. Gives access to iron, basalt, and uh, ingrate. Let's do a reroll and see if we can't hit something that gives uh, a lot of uh, a lot of gold. For example, the fennec. Fennec gives lots of gold because it gives all the other animals gold, and uh, that's. What you want there, yeah. 
So it needs to be next to animals. Distinct critter. Uh, for example, these guys are distinct critters. Upgrade this place. Place the fennec. Whoop. And that makes this guy a lot better. Many times. And uh, Oh yeah, there's only one plant. Yeah, uh, ah, this one isn't in effect. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. We have uh, six, six more things we can build here. Um, we need to start by spending these two. Uh, no, each gem within borders. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, let's just give it one of these two. It, it can only be used on two stars and below. Uh, isn't this a distinct creature? Oh, they're these and these are animals. They aren't critters. Yeah. Okay, turtles is one. Let's give them another um, another distinct critter to be next to. For example, this sand rose. It counts as uh, it counts as empty. So that's that. Yeah. Let's give the give uh, some of these to them. Uh, we can also upgrade with the sanctuary, right? I haven't done that before, so I need to. I'm excited to see how that works. Okay, you are now a sanctuary, which means that you have a lot more micro spots, and they're gonna be a lot more efficient. Go down, I want to use micro. So you get total yield for each gem built again within borders, and you're gonna get that twice. Mm -mm, so that should be a hundred percent increase twice. No. Uh, yeah, 50% uh, increase, right? Not? Wasn't that supposed to... Oh! Oh yeah, because that's uh, specifically... Uh, sanctuary is specifically non-emblem micro in Sanctuary, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, these guys can be done twice. Oh, it has to be within borders. Okay, you guys need to expand borders. You are hesitant because you really don't need more land, even though it's very worth it. What if I tell you to do it anyway? Okay, uh, you can also take... Take one more since you have the more space. And we need to give you a... We need to give you a reason to. We um, need to give you access to more, more uh, micro, uh, good micros here. So you have. Ah, those aren't good. You can uh, you can create you can create. Total yield for distinct predator biotica. So uh, this can give eighty percent total yield. That's good. You can give uh, stuff to minerals. You give additional science. Let's take that and give you the... Wait, what? Oh yeah, this was a signature one. Uh, I've created the Fennec twice. Doop doop. We are upgrading the wrong city. Oops. Ah, well, it's not it's not that uh, not that uh, worrisome. We have already won. We just looking towards uh, doing it uh, as winning as good as much as possible here. Can we take this guy? Put that here. No, we can't. We need to upgrade stuff away first. We can do that though. Dun, dun, dun. And let's place this guy. Ooh, additional science for each adjacent scavenger or predator. You are a scavenger and a predator. Yeah, cool. Have 100 tech on a single planet. Woo! And you get to invent some more stuff. And we 
need some more stuff here. We see we can uh, you can uh, do the okra plants of good food. Sure, let's give these dogs worms. Mm -mm -mm. They get more stuff if they are adjacent to more African wild dogs. Sure. That's the way to give them some more gold. Oh, yeah, highest animal gold within borders. This is these guys. Can we give them more gold? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, it must be one star. We can really do it with this one. And of course we have some more drafts we can spend here. Let's see, uh, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter to do more drafts in Savannah because we don't have more stuff unlocked there. But we can look at more stuff in the rainforest. And more three stars. We have the Heli Helisonia. Deep jungle, if adjacent to four plants. Sure. And uh, that one is just gonna make uh, gonna make the coffee that much better. So uh, mm -mm -mm. let's go over here, buy some more terraforming charges, and uh, let's see. We can also, in theory, we, we could uh, have some more towns or here too. Um, yeah, we want to. Mm -mm -mm. I want to. I want to build uh, a mountain over here. And uh, yeah, precisely, precisely. Uh, there we want to place uh, the Hirikuna. Uh, it uh, gives flowers, more food and science if they, if they are unique, and they want to be next to other plants. And we have other plants in this area, so this makes uh, total sense to do. Roop. And then the coffee gets a lot better. And we need uh, more plants here. Oh, we need to upgrade the plant. We need to do upgrade of uh, which. Who? Where was? Where, where was the plant upgrade? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. That's not that. Plus additional science for each distinct tag on adjacent animals. So this guy is three. I mean, we don't really, we don't really have an upgrade here. So yeah, let's uh, buy another micro. Ta -da. So you get uh, that currently. Let's just find the animal with the most amount of uh, most amount of tags we can here. For example, the uh, tapir or the iguana. Uh, yeah, let's do let's do the tapir. I think. Dun -dun. Actually, now we can also um, do another terraform with uh, sanctuary mm, or creek. Yeah, let's do. Oh, a mountain is in the way. We can, we, can, we can't have both mountains, sanctuary, and creeks at the same place. What are you? That uh, totally is acceptable. Uh, let's place the tapir. Here it's food, right? Yeah. That one is better. Then we also place, for example, the pit viper again. Have a hundred pop on a single planet. Woohoo! Okay. That's seven more. Nice. And uh, this guy needs to be next to more trees, so. Or next, more plants at least. Let's place the bakuk tree. 
Oh, I didn't uh, realize we were concluding already. But uh, yeah, that is uh, totally uh, totally fine. We were well well won. We had all we had a lot of resources left we could have spent. But uh, yeah, that's okay. We, the episode um, was beginning to uh, to uh, run long, so uh, that's fine. As it hungers, it consumes all. Okay, giant. Okay, we completed the Age of Horror and uh, got uh, both two and three stars. And uh, we got uh, from session, we got. Uh, we got. Um, 688 prosperity from a three era game. That's cool, cool, cool. And we get to unlock more stuff from uh, these two guys. And yeah, we unlock more stuff because uh, of uh, our increased uh, profile level. Yeah, so this is uh, since um, we uh, since we can um, run out of uh, stuff to three star, we uh, unlocked uh, more ways to do it. So let's see, we are unlocking nine more things there. We are unlocking the Siberian tiger, additional gold for distinct uh, herbivores in uh, this um, biome, and. And additional for 25% for each uh, distinct predator in this uh, planet. Okay, this one is uh, really good for gaining a lot of gold. I can uh, I can see that working. We also get the black bear and the still a seagull. And further in the taiga, we are unlocking strawberries, which get 50 food and additional 150, 350, or 600 if they are adjacent to three, five, and six animals. And all undergrowth on the planet gain additional 25% food. This one is also really good for gaining food. We also get the goose, the cloudberry, and the caribou. Next thing here is... It is the marabou. Okay, an ugly biotica. <laughs> all ugly biotica in this biome gain 100% extra food and science and gold. So that one is uh, nice. Underlord plus uh, 20 gold for each ugly biotica in this biome. Okay, also get the Warthog, the Mud Pool, and the Kunsite. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we have the Cayman. Uh, that's uh, a two star one with uh, 10 food and 20 gold. Gets buy a booster, uh, five food and 10 gold for each surplus biodiversity in this biome. We saw uh, how good the, um, the gumbo tree is, and this is basically the same thing. It also gives all reptiles additional 25% stuff. That's cool. In addition, we get the armadillo, the taro, and the iguana. The next thing we unlock is uh, yeah, it's nice we can unlock four savanna things here. It's the monkey orange. 20 food that gains additional 40 food for each distinct adjacent animal. And we get the wildebeest, the impala, and the pitaya. And now it's an ocean thing. In the ocean, we are unlocking Titanfall, which is 200 uh, science, only be placed in the deep. All deep biotic on the planet gain 50 science, and it has two micro slots. Also, we gain the anger fish, the barrel eyes, and the manganese. And then we have three savanna biotica. Lemongrass, 50 science, uh, plus 50 science for each grass biotica in this biome. 10% uh, for each distinct grass on the bi grass biotica in this biome. Yeah, that's nice. Also, millet, African violet, and spinel. And we also unlock Palladium, 50 science, uh, inspirational, inspiration, plus 30 science for each distinct tag on Bioticum in this biome. That can be a lot, I think. Okay, Shia tree, Dense Night, and African Violet. And what's the last one? The last one is the Lion. 25 gold, but it's a predator king and gains 35 gold for each distinct predator biotingum on the planet, and it gains 10% additional gold for each distinct herbivore biotingum on this in this biome. So it it uh, caps on uh, five there. So uh, yeah, if we have uh, a lot of different biomes, we can have a lot of different predators. So uh, yeah, lion is gonna be huge. Okay. Hopefully we are unlocking the final parts of uh, the profile levels. 
all gens can now create their secondary biome starting from the first era. So um, now we can play um, six biome games, which uh, gives access to a lot of uh, different kinds of things, but it's also harder to uh, harder to balance out. And uh, yeah, we are soon to be unlocking uh, the merchant spirit as the main spirit of the planet and the minor spirit as the main spirit of the planet. But uh, that is it for uh, this episode here. Thank you guys uh, for um, watching my journey in Roos uh, along. Uh, this has been Harminger and uh, I'm signing out. Bye bye.